Hi, I'm Victor with Line 6, and I'd like to welcome you to this tone creation video for the Firehawk FX floorboard. Today, we're going to be getting tone inspiration from Red Hot Chili Peppers guitarist John Frusciante. Specifically, we're going to be trying to go after the tone he was able to get on the song Scar Tissue off the Californication album. Before we start actually building the tone, it's a good idea to know what gear John was actually using. Our research shows us that John tends to favor Fender Strat style guitars, so any solid body guitar with a single coil pickup in the neck should probably do just fine for getting the sound. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using Line 6's Variac standard, the Spank model, position number 5. As you can see, John uses two amps in his setup, with his higher gain sounds coming from the Marshall Model 2555, shown here on the right, and also known as the Silver Jubilee. But for this tone, we're going to focus on his Marshall 1967 Plexi style head. John tends to favor the 200 watt version known as the Marshall Major. According to our research, John does have a variety of pedals set up in his rig, but for this song, the only one we're going to need to use is the Electro Harmonics Big Muff Fuzz pedal, and we're going to use it specifically for the lead parts. Now, let's open up our Firehawk remote app and actually start building the tone. I'm going to start in the top left hand corner at the block label Variax. Simply tap the icon to select it. Once selected, we're going to adjust the parameter labeled model. We'll look for the one marked Spank 5. That'll be the Strat in the neck position. We can adjust the tuning here as well, but we're not going to do anything with it as John's playing this song in E standard. Now let's play around with the amplifier. We can set this up by pressing the amp slash cab block shown in our signal chain. This will bring up the currently selected model, which is the blackface double. To change this model, we can press the amp icon on the left hand side of the screen. Next we'll press the type to get back to the amp categories, and we'll select the one labeled British. Now we'll scroll down until we see the 1969 Brit Plexi Lead 200. Double tap to select or press it once and then select done. We can also change the cabinet and microphone models if we press the cab icon on the right hand side of the screen. Here I'm going to leave the cabinet the same but I'm going to change the microphone model from an SM57 angled to an SM57 straight on. Now let's give this a listen and see what we have so far. Now that's not a bad starting point but I feel like John's tone is a little warmer and a little fuller sounding than that so let's make some adjustments to the amplifier. First I'm going to reduce the drive, I'm going to bring up the bass quite a bit, I'm going to leave the mids where they are, reduce the treble slightly, drop the presence way down, and then bring up the volume just a little bit. Now let's take a look at the reverb block all the way to the right in our signal chain, in the top right corner of the app. So if we're going to use reverb in this tone, let's remember that most Marshalls don't actually have reverb on them. So let's swap out this 63 spring reverb model for a different, more natural sounding reverb. We'll do that by pressing the reverb icon on the left hand side of the screen. Now we'll select the room reverb model by either double tapping it or pressing it once and hitting done to load it. Remember, if we want to hear the sound of any of these effect blocks, we're going to have to turn them on. It's done by pressing the small power icon in the top right hand side of the screen. Now remember, John's tone is pretty dry, so with a couple small adjustments here, we're going to shoot to get a natural in the room sounding reverb. For John's lead sound, we're going to need a little bit of gain, and we're going to get that by setting up a stomp box type effect by pressing the block labeled stomp in our signal chain. We'll see that we already have a distortion style effect set up here. While John does have a classic distortion style pedal set up in his rig, this might be a little much for what we're going for here. Remember to turn it on to hear what it sounds like. I think we want something a little smoother than that, so we're going to switch the model by pressing the distortion icon on the left hand side of the window and double tapping the Fuzz Pi HD model to load it. That's a healthy sound in pedal, and with a few small adjustments we'll actually get really close to John's lead tone. So we're going to reduce our drive, we're going to bring our bass and mids up pretty far, we're going to get rid of most of our treble and reduce our output slightly. Now let's set up the noise gate to get rid of any unwanted hum that we still might have in our signal chain. We'll do it by selecting the block labeled gate in the top left hand side of our screen. I generally set this up with the decay all the way down at zero, and then I adjust the threshold depending on how much noise my guitar is making. And remember, for the noise gate to do its job, you still have to turn it on, so press the power icon on the right hand side of the screen. Now that our tone's set up, let's save all the work we just did by pressing the save info icon on the bottom side of the screen. In the upper left hand side of the screen, you'll see a part that says save my tone to. Tap that to bring up your save options. You can either save this directly to your Line 6 account, or you can save it directly to your Firehawk FX hardware. If you choose to fill out the information based on the preset you just created, you can actually share this tone with other Firehawk FX users. To do this, fill out the information and then press the share button located in the upper right hand side of the screen. Here you can either publish to the Line 6 cloud where it's searchable by the information you provided, or you can tweet or post your tone on Facebook. So that'll wrap things up for this John Frusciante inspired tone for the Firehawk FX. And remember, if things don't sound exactly the way you think they should, feel free to tweak this as much as you'd like. Remember, at the end of the day, it's up to you and your ears to decide what works best for you. If you've enjoyed any of this, be sure to check out the rest of Line 6's tone creation videos, and thank you very much for watching this one.